This is amazing. Now we have Langgraph, language agents as graphs. This is a huge update from Langchain. We are able to create different agents to complete a task. We are able to define tools and assign those tools to those agents completely in Langchain ecosystem. It can be integrated in Langsmith like this. As a use case, we are going to see how the future of internet search will look like. And finally, we are going to create a user interface like this. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Langgraph. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to create agents, how to create tools and explain with a use case. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. As a use case, first we are going to create two agents, Internet Search Analyst and Insight Researcher. The Internet Search Analyst is going to search the internet based on the question we are going to ask. It is going to go through different links and then summarize all those articles. Imagine you're going to Google and type latest AI trends 2024, go through every single URL, probably the first five or first 10, and then summarize everything. It is going to take a lot of time, but the internet search analyst agent is going to do the same. Based on the topic, it's going to go through a different URL and then give us a summary. Next, that summary is sent to the insights researcher. This insights researcher will identify different topics in that summary and then again do in-depth search for each individual topic and give us a detailed in-depth answer. This I believe would be the future of internet search. At the end, you will have a report like this where you identified all the key areas of the topics and insights about those topics. First, we are going to install Langchain, Langgraph, Langchain OpenAI, Langsmith, Langchain Hub, DuckDuckGo Search, Beautiful Soup, and Gradio using pip install and then click enter. Once that is installed, export your OpenAI API key like this and click enter. Next, export Langchain API key if you are using Langsmith, this is optional and click enter. Then create a file called app.py and then let's open it. Inside the file, first import function tools, operator, request OS and JSON. Next, beautiful soup, DuckDuckGo search, agent executor and create open AI tools agent, base message, human message, JSON output functions, parser, chat prompt template and message placeholder, state graph and end from Lang graph tool, chat open AI, various data types, and finally Gradio. I've already covered basics in regards to Langchain, which I will link that in the description below. As the name suggests, the parsers are used to parse, agents are to create and execute agents, messages to provide messages, Lang graph is to create the graph, tools to create tools. First, we are going to set environment variables, Langchain tracing v2 true, and then Langchain project. This is required only if you use Langsmith. That's the user interface to monitor the lang chain status, which I will show you towards the end of the video. First, we are going to initialize the model. I'm going to use GPT-4 Turbo. As a first step, I'm going to define tools. Overall, we need agents, tools, and also make it to work together. That is called graph. So in regards to tools, we are going to provide two different tools. That is search to search the internet and get URLs. And the second tool is for reading that URL. So here we are going to use at decorator to internet search and then use the DuckDuckGo search and return the top five results. Next, we are going to create process content function. It is using beautiful soup to parse the content and return the content. Now we're going to list the tools in the tools variable. The next step is to create agents. We're going to create the helper function for creating agents. So firstly, the function is called create agent. This will get the large language model. In our case, it's our open AI chat GBT. Then we get the tools and then system prompt. This will automatically use create open AI tools agent to create the agent and it performs the executor task and return the executor. Next, we're going to define agent nodes. These are nothing but a function which runs the agent. In simple terms, create agent creates one agent. And if you want to make the agent to perform multiple tasks, then you use the agent node function. It is like recruiting one analyst in your company and then providing multiple tasks to the analyst. 
we have seen that we need a internet search analyst agent and insights researcher agent to perform the insights task. But in this case, we are going to add one more person into the loop who is the supervisor. The supervisor is going to work together with other agents to finally give us the insights. So now creating agent supervisor, providing the list of members. One member is web searcher. Next one is insight researcher. Now we are going to create a system prompt. Here it says, as a supervisor, your role is to oversee a dialogue between workers. Based on the user request, determine which worker should take the next action. Each worker is responsible for executing a specific task, reporting back their findings and progress. Once all tasks are complete, indicate with finish. Now we're going to define the options with members. Next, we are going to do the function calling with the name root. Root is nothing but the link between the supervisor and the different agents. So this function is going to determine if the supervisor is going to send the task to which agent or is it going to finish it. Now we are going to define the prompt from chat prompt template. So this is now passing the system prompt. That is the one which we have defined earlier as the system message. Here we say, given the conversation above, who should act next? The prompt to choose who will be doing the task. Next, we are going to add supervisor chain where you provide the prompt which you got from here and provide the function definition and parse the output. Now we have completed creating a supervisor agent. This looks big, but once you understand this, it will be much more easier. So it's just the prompt defining the function and then providing both prompt and function definition in supervisor chain. That's it. Now we are going to create the two more agents, internet research analyst and insights researcher. Search agent equals create agent and then providing the LLM tools. You are mentioning that you are a web searcher. Next, we are creating a node. Search node equals function tools and partial. You're providing the agent node. This agent node is the agent node function which we created earlier. This is used to run the agent. Next, you are providing the name of the agent, that is the search agent and web searcher. This is one big difference in LangGraph. Nodes are nothing but agents or tools. Each and every action is called a node. Next, we are going to create insights research agent, create agent, LLM tools, and then providing the prompt. You are an insight researcher. Do step by step based on the provided content. First, identify the list of topics, then search internet for each topic one by one. And finally, find insights for each topic one by one. Include the insights and sources in the final response. Next, insights research node. Same as above, we are defining the node for this agent and naming it as insight researcher. Now we have completed the step of creating agents and then tools. Finally, we are going to make them work together by creating graphs. Next is define the agent state, edges and graph. These are the terms you might need to understand. Agent state is nothing but the conversation history between different agents. Edges are the connection between those agents. Graph can be also called pipeline or workflow. First, we are defining the agent state with a class. We are saving all the messages between agents. These messages will be passed to each individual agents when they perform the tasks. So they know the context before running the task. Next, we define the workflow. Workflows are nothing but the graph. Then we are going to add nodes. First, we are adding web searcher node. Next, workflow.add node. Insight researcher, workflow.add node, supervisor chain. Now we are going to define the edges, define edges for member in members, workflow.add edge member and then supervisor. What does that mean? So whenever a member, that means a web searcher or insight researcher perform a task, then it should report back to supervisor. Next, we define the conditional map, conditional map finish equals end. Then workflow.add conditional edges is supervisor and then providing the conditional map. So what does this mean? This is a conditional edge, which means the supervisor won't send the task to the agent all the time. If the message says finish, that means the supervisor will terminate the request. If it is not finished, then it will keep on sending that to agents to complete the task. That's what this means. We have come to the final stage. We're going to say workflow set entry point supervisor, just telling to the land graph that is the starting point. Now we are going to compile the workflow. That is the actual graph. You can also call that as a pipeline. Finally, we are going to run the graph using graph.stream. 
we are providing the question or the task to ask. Search for the latest AI technology trends in 2024. Summarize the content. After summarizing, pass it on to the insight researcher to provide insights for each topic. And we are printing out the results. As a quick summary, we created two tools, internet search and process content tools. Then we created three agents. One is a supervisor agent where we are providing the prompt and the function calling. Next, we have the search agent. Thirdly, we have the insight research agent. Then we are creating the graph. That is the workflow and adding all the nodes. Nodes are where the agents are located. Finally, we are running by graph.stream. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. First, I can see it's going to the web searcher agent from the supervisor agent. Let's monitor this in Langsmith. This is the Langsmith layout where you can see, monitor how the agents are interacting. You might need to request access for this dashboard. Here we can see first the supervisor agent is sending the request to web searcher and web searcher is performing the search task by getting all those URLs. Then it's processing the content by going into each individual page and returning the output. Once the web searcher completes its task, then it goes to the supervisor again. Supervisor is sending the task again to the insight researcher. Now the insight researcher identifies a list of topics such as multimodal AI, agentic AI, open source AI from the content and it's doing individual search for each individual topic, which you can see here. At the end, it's summarizing everything and returning the output. So as you can see here, these are the agents working together to complete the task. In our terminal, we can see the output displayed here. First web searcher agent, then insight researcher. Finally, we got the output here. If you don't want to stream, we can even modify this with this graph.invoke function with the same request and that will return the actual content. You will get an output like this in markdown format. So if I copy this and paste it in a Word document, this is what we got. So the question we asked, latest AI technology trends in 2024. Here is the answer after an in-depth research. Customized chatbots and generative AI, multitasking robots, quantum AI, AI legislation, ethical AI, and much more. To create a user interface with Gradio, just change this part and create a run graph function, return the response, and set up the interface with the GI interface. Now I'm going to run this code, Python app.py, and then click enter. Now navigate to the URL. After entering the question, this is what I got. As simple as that. Now we cover a use case where we are able to get more in-depth search with just one query, which I think will be the future of internet search, and how this is compared with Autogen and Crew AI. LangGraph with LangChain ecosystem is more extendable because it contains many LangChain tools, easy implementation of RAGs, more customization in regards to edges, agents flow, etc. But if you want a bit more simpler version, you can use Autogen and the simplest version would be Crew AI. So did LangGraph beat Autogen? Depends on the use case. We have covered only two agents with this setup but we can even extend that further with multiple teams like this and with multiple agents under each team, which I'll be creating in the near future. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.